really locked in on the weight room. And so that's where he kind of starts taking that bump and, 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 and kind of bumping it up a little bit. And although it didn't show immediately because then 2020 we were terrible and he broke his hand, you started to see in 2021 we were still terrible, but Steph was carrying us and he carried us to a play-in game and we didn't get past it. It was probably great because we would have got swept and that would have been the first series we ever got swept. So thank God we didn't make it. But um, I think you started to see it then, that growth, and like, oh, man, nobody can stop this dude now. And I think that really changed the complexity of our organization. And I'm pretty certain that's why we'll win three of the next four NBA championships. All right, Draymond continuing his whirlwind tour after winning that fourth championship game. And he's talking big game, Freddie. How many titles do you think Golden State will win in the next four years? Well, this is breaking news. Draymond Green talking a big game. Never saw that coming from Draymond Green from that standpoint. <laughs> but, uh, but you know what? When you're – what you've been able to do as a Golden State Warriors organization, you should have that confidence. I could see them getting two, two? in the next okay. four years. I can see them getting two because the West is only going to get tougher and tougher – as great as Steph is going to continue to be, as great as, as Clay is going to continue to be, and Clay, Clay's going to have a bounce back year next year, the year removed from the injury, and Draymond's going to be Draymond. Now you got Jordan Poole and Andrew Wiggins. I can see them winning two in the next four years, but if they win three titles in a four-year stretch, they will officially qualify as a dynasty. They just won't yeah. be on the outside of it winning four championships in eight years. You win three in the next four years, that's seven titles. In an eleven in a twelve-year period, that becomes a dynasty that's when it comes to Golden State Warriors. Yeah. What about you, Courtney? I I think they're already a dynasty, but I agree with Freddie. I mean, if they win three in the next four years, they're on another planet. But, you know, I know we've talked so much about how good the Western Conference is, but let's not forget there's some really good teams on the other side of that in the East. I think their window's open right now. You've got guys like Jonathan Kaminga, James Wiseman, Jordan Poole, who are licking their chops after winning this last one, thinking, let's go. Stephen Curry can play this way until he's 40. This team's window is going to stay open, but it's only a window to contend. I think that they'll win one more in that stretch that Draymond Green's talking about the next four years, but they'll probably be in at least two NBA finals in that stretch. Think how well they've drafted. Yeah. I mean, look at the guys they've drafted between, like you mentioned, Jonathan Kaminga. James Wiseman hasn't played yet, and they think he has a tremendous skill level mm. with this basketball team. You go back to Klay Thompson and Steph Curry and Draymond Green and Kevon Looney. This organization has been unbelievable, not only drafting players, but making Steph Curry an icon. Yeah, it's on him to be that kind of player as well. But the fact that they were able to have him flourish in that fashion, Victoria and Courtney, it's unbelievable how Golden State's been able to draft well. And then you add an Andre Iguodala and an Andrew Wiggins mm -hmm. to fortify those pieces. Can they go back yeah. to back, though? That's tough. Yeah, I think that they could. I mean, because like Freddie had mentioned, you're going to get – Clay Thompson back, probably to the level that he was more closely like pre-injury. He has an entire offseason now to work on his game. They've unlocked another level of Andrew Wiggins. Like, I think that this roster can only get better, and they've probably got the best chance of any team, and we saw the Vegas odds to, to contend and, and to win it next year. So, yeah, I say they can go back-to-back. -back. Yeah, my gut agrees with Courtney, and my gut has agreed with Courtney ever since the season ended because yeah. they got a yeah. taste of that again, and they want to bore people to death by winning, and especially when they proved to everybody else that they could come back and be a championship team. Uh, my gut right now says that they are the team to beat and they're going to win another NBA championship. But when? Next year. They'll Next go back-to-back. Back. Okay. I'm with Courtney. I'm, right, I'm, I'm with it. They, they'll make the it back-to-back, back and, and then they'll be in the heads of the Memphis Grizzlies renting space instead of the other way around. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.